it's time. The first in a series of Let's Play videos, which I've been meaning to do for like so long, like literally years. <laughs> uh, this is System Shock 2. Never played the first one, never played this one, have no idea what it's about. It's a horror game, and I'm not going to jump scares. Check the options here. Make sure everything's running smooth. Yeah, these were knackered before. They were just all over the shop. Alright, let's do it. Let's go. Normal. Uh, what are we doing? Normal hard, normal hard. Let's do normal. Look at you, hackers. A path pathetic creature of meat and bone. Hand Panting and sweating as you ru run through my corridors. How can you challenge a perfect, immortal machine? In 2072, a rogue artificial intelligence known as Shodan lost her mind. In her limitless imagination, Shodan saw herself as a goddess destined to inherit the earth. That image was snuffed out by the hacker who created her. <laughs> 32 years later. Specifically 32. February 3rd is the day the magic happens. The Von Braun, the first starship in history capable of traveling at faster than light speed, will undertake her maiden voyage. This incredible journey is the result of teamwork between the UNN Protectorate and the incredible scientific minds of the newly relicensed Trioptimum Corporation. Imagine being able to travel to distant star systems in a period of weeks. It's all part of Triop's commitment to the future. The Von Braun is packed with over 1.8 billion flight, scientific, and security all systems. Right. Nearly all developed by Trioptimum and its wholly owned subsidiaries. <laughs> Providing security for the Von it's Braun so as she plows through the heavens will be the UN and Rickenbacker. At her Giant will be no less than Captain William Bedford Bradley. Diego himself, hero of the Battle of Boston Harbor during the Eastern States Police Action. This incredible union of government and corporation is made possible by an intricate series of docking mechanisms that will allow the Rickenbacker to piggyback its way into jump space. Sleek. <laughs> Fast. Revolutionary. Who knows what wonders await our crews in the bosom of the cosmos. All we do know is that it's a great day for mankind. It's a great day for America. America. As a UN and Dunton, we've been hijacked by an unknown force. The ship's security has been compromised. Do not allow the ship to leave. Repeat, do not allow the ship to leave under any circumstances. I don't know what we're against here. Oh shit. <laughs> Shock the French are in trouble. <laughs> Alright. Oh, this is it. This is it. This is the game. Right. Yeah, it's an old game. It's 2001. So don't mock the graphics. Welcome to the Ramsey Center UNN Recruitment Facility. Please watch your step when leaving the train. The graph shafts at the end of the hall will take you to the street level training and recruitment center. Please proceed to the graph shafts. Ooh. It looks very Deus Ex, or Deus Ex, for Americans. Anyone who's played, uh... Is there like a, a run key? Oh, that is run. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That is run. <laughs> Anyone step into the grav shafts to proceed to the street level recruitment. Yeah. Anyone who's played Deus Ex, I think, will recognise this sort of. Even like the footsteps. Like very very similar. Wow. Oh, this is cool. Oh. This device is temporarily out of order. What's going on in there? It's just it's just like one room. <laughs> but they're not selling anything. There's no merchandise. That's so weird. I don't like it. It's a horror game. It's a horror game. UNN. 
Before you choose your career, you'll want to learn some basic abilities. Not long. First, you should go If you've completed basic training, you're ready for the advanced level. I am sorry. Here's where you make your choice, soldier. Here's where you enlist in one of the three branches of the military. Once you decide on your branch of service, there's no going back. Our right. shuttle will take you to a UNN orbital space station, where you'll receive a briefing regarding your yearly postings. Good luck. Oh God. Navy, OSA, or Marines. Oh man. Um. Right. Well, na I can't be bothered with sea stuff if it's all at sea. It's like you're in space. You know what I mean? What's th you no. OSA, what does that even stand for? Oversized astronaut. I am not an oversized astronaut, I am a regular sized astronaut, and that is offensive, so it's going to be the Marines. Welcome to Space Station Wake Island, Marine. So you survived basic training at Camp Lejeune. Better still, you've managed to learn a thing or two about standard weapons. But now it's time for the real deal. Your tour of duty will consist of four postings over four years. The Corps demands a lot of you grunts, but the Corps is generous. You get to choose your own postings. Head up to the shuttle bays in the center of the Wake Island, and you'll be briefed on what's ahead. When you find the right posting, Head into that bay to yep. accept the assignment. Good luck, Marine. Yep. Is that kind of like choosing your stats? I assume. Like a clever way of choosing stats. Mission select. Your stint at the low survival score is finished. You managed to survive your year there. Barely. The encounter with a descendant of a Citadel Station Tiger Mew put you in a sticky bay, sick bay, <laughs> for a month. But now you're one tough marine. BD, welcome aboard. Shuttle A138, you have clearance for landing on the Von Braun in Shuttle Bay 2. Welcome aboard, soldier. Yeah. Oh, it's so dark. Dumb. 67 trillion miles from Earth. Steady yourself, soldier. This is Dr. Janice Polito of the computer ops staff of the Von Braun. You're safe for the time being. You're recovering from the effects of surgery and will be unable to remember any of the events of the last few weeks. You're on board the starship Von Braun and something's gone very, very wrong. Some kind of force has hijacked this ship. That's why you volunteered to be implanted with some experimental cybernetic implants. 
Rely on your cyber interface. It just might save your life. Nah. You must find an elevator I don't and think come I up to deck four to meet me. Deck four. Can you remember that? But keep your eyes open. They're after us both now. Guys, just remember deck four. Oh god. Watch out. I'm getting I don't strange think. readings from that radar dish outside the window. It's become unstable due to Move! Take cover! What the Oh Critical decompression hazard in the cryo recovery suite. Evacuate immediately. Oh no. Okay, well I just picked up that's his inventory. And that's my inventory, so yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, that works. Um Actually I really don't want to do that. Okay, a ladder. The entire sector is depressurizing and the blue vacuum shield won't last long. Get through a secure airlock before you're sucked into space. Move it! Yeah, uh, uh, uh. Oh, Wait. What is it? Cyber is many of your actions are now cyber enhanced. Your cyber interface supports two modes. Shoot. Ah. Uh, okay. Um. Oh God, there's so much. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. It's just information, so it's called a tri optimal information terminal. That's fine. What was that? Oh, these sound effects are ridiculous. Your PD contains every email log and info kiosk notes find on board. It also contains an automatic note-taking utility which keeps you informed of pressing tasks while on board. You can access the PDA by left-clicking on the log icon in the right and fill up there. Maybe there's a way I can upgrade it. Can somebody let me out? I can't find my card. <gasps> Please, let me out of here. Out? What do you mean out? What's wrong with being in here? Is he special? Yes. The six rifle slugs. A psi hypo. Rifle slugs. Am I gonna get a rifle? Um. Alright. Okay, um. What's that? Do I. Why do I need that? Secret tip. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh. See your inventory hit the tab key. You may only carry a limited number of items as visually indicated by the number of squares in your inventory. The stronger you are, the more inventory you may carry, which is fantastic. You may uh, move items around freely in your inventory uh, and may and you may also drop them by dragging them into the 3D view. And I don't As if that still works. Well done. I'm uploading some more modules.
unresearched object. <laughs> this isn't a horror game. <laughs> oh. I don't know any of these. Now that insipid computer Xerxes has shut down the elevator as well. You can transfer power at the engine core on deck one, which will get the elevator up and running again. Right. But you can't use the elevator to get down there. Wait. There's some kind of maintenance access right on this hallway. You can use it to reach deck one. However, it's locked, and Xerxes is hiding the passcode from me. Dr. Watts should have the code. He's probably <laughs> in the crew subsection. Grassi has the key to get in there, but he's in the medical subsection, <laughs> probably near the biopsy lab. Now get to the medical subsection and find Grassi. <laughs> nice metal. Nice metal. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. So can you? Oh my God, that's horrible. This is Xerxes. Please report any unauthorized database interactions. Your direct. I'm actually not that scared. Wait, 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 wait. Is it? What the hell's going on? Oh. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> That's so harsh. Oh. Huh?